Punk Revolution now! Hey everybody, today we are going to be reviewing Blarf's debut album, Seize and Desist. Okay, so first off, what the hell is Blarf? Let's take a look at the album cover. So for those of you who couldn't tell, that was Eric Andre dressed up like Ronald McDonald. And yes, this is an album made by uh, Blarf, a.k.a. Eric Andre. Uh, Eric Andre, comedian from, you know, he's, he has an adult, an adult swim show, ironic, crazy, funny guy. You might expect, given that this is Eric Andre dressed up like Ronald McDonald, this is going to be a comedy album or some sort of joke that's not worth listening to. But I'm serious. I listened to it. And uh, even though Eric Andre himself said in an interview with Pitchfork that this is an unlistenable album, I listened to it and it actually is seriously pretty damn good. There's definitely a lot of creativity here. This is this is not just a fucking joke. It's not a comedy album. It's actually like a I think it's a pretty serious music uh, musical effort. So yes, uh, freaking uh, season assist. The music here, like I said, Plunder Phonics, very glitchy. There's some like there's some like cool beats in it. There's some weird samples. There's freaking like noise and drone in it. There's freaking like whoa, you know, like a voice slowed down so it sounds like all glitchy and stuff. Like just like bunch of there's just like a bunch of weird shit thrown in there so it ultimately make turns into a very playful uh chaotic crazy fun joyful album uh like i said not necessarily like a comedy album uh i think this is actually like a serious musical effort there are there is like there is like some funniness to it obviously like visualizing Ron, uh, eric andre dressed up like ronald mcdonald making some like very pretentious noisy music is fucking hilarious i literally burst out laughing while listening to this album just uh, visualizing that uh, and also at the end of a, a 12 minute track called I Worship Satan, which is just a freaking noise track where it's like, I'm like, <laughs> like noisy and crazy for 12 minutes. Boom. It ends with, um, uh, the, 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 the theme song to, uh, the reading, Ra the reading rainbow. I mean, that's obviously pretty funny as well, even though there is some funniness to this album overall, like I said, not like not a comedy album. It's a serious album. So if you're into like plunder phonics and experimental music, I think you actually should check this out. And if you're into Eric Andre, you know, don't, don't just pass this as a stupid Eric Andre bit you know you might want to check it out and kind of be impressed to see what your what your uh your superhero freaking Eric freaking Andre is capable of so uh like I said I mean in, ter in terms of the flaws of the album like I said there is a 12 minute uh drone noisy track called I Worship Satan that is a that's a bit too long this is overall a short album so to have a, a significant portion of this album dedicated to a, a a noise track where the noise is it's not bad but it's also like not great it's kind of mediocre noise is honestly like that is like that is definitely filler not the greatest thing to put in an album um uh, I mean obviously like it's fucking Eric Andre I don't think he gives that much of a shit uh but you know overall there is some there are some um, fantastic moments like the first track, Benjamin Button Badass, whatever, I forget the name of the song, given that it's a long song name, that is very, especially, uh, you know, it, it kind of really excels at doing this kind of chaotic plunder phonics. Um, and there's another track uh, that, that that ultimately is a, a, a blend together of Animal Collective's, uh, one of Animal Collective's songs from their album Strawberry Jam with Public Enemy, which is actually a really fun, creative blend to, to hear together. Uh, that's, I mean, that was also like a really another fantastic highlight from this album. Uh, but like I said, there is some filler throughout this album, so it's not the most consistent, and it's pretty short. But I mean, pretty fucking good for Eric Andre, you know, gotta, gi gotta give Eric Andre a round of applause for being so, you know, talented, honestly. The fact that he's, he's a, you know, a, a highly successful comedian, and also making music that, uh, you know, is pretty damn good that most people can't make. Pretty fucking, pretty fucking cool. So I'm giving this a 6.8 out of 10. Eight out of 10. Uh, I, I'd like to give it a higher, but I feel like I, I just don't have it in me, given that it is a, a short album that's kind of inconsistent. But I mean, at the, at the end of the day, if you think about it, giving a 6.8 out of 10 to freaking Blarf. I mean, let's look at the fucking album cover again. So I just gave a 6.8 out, out of 10 to that fucking album. That's pretty fucking high to be giving to that album. But I mean, ultimately, it was a pretty damn interesting, uh, compelling, experimental album that really just did it for me. I just enjoyed it. I'm going with my instinct and saying I fucking enjoyed it. Uh, giving a 6.8 out of 10. Weird, weird shit. Weird fucking shit. Weird fucking shit. Punk Revolution now.